Welcome all, and today we are looking at Hot Razor by the Suicide Boys. This video is probably only going to be like two or three minutes long because, I mean, there isn't really much to say about it. So let's just get going. Let's listen to it. That is the entire beat, apart from the vocals being on top of it. So we have this sort of intro section. I mean, the beat does really just jump straight into it. But uh, we have this sort of intro section, I guess. And then I think the vocals come in about here. Obviously, I don't have the vocals and I'm not going to imitate them. <laughs> but let's listen to these samples. Can you tell what's going on here? One's playing forward, one's playing backwards. That's all there is. It's just this little section here. Basically playing a couple of beats of that. And then we take it at the same spot where this sample ends is where this red line begins to play it backwards. And that's all. There's no change in pitch. There's just a little bit of compression. And then we put it into this uh, processing chain here where we centralize everything and then make it stereo again. Because with these sort of beats, you typically don't want to hear the original sample the way it was made. See, we kind of have the guitar in the left channel. Again, if you're not wearing headphones, you won't. This will just sound like nothing to you. Guitar sample in the left channel, sort of piano keys in the right channel. So then I want to add some saturation to it. Then we make everything mono using this uh, device that I made. And now that everything is playing in the center, we then use the stereoize effect and the width knob on this free uh, imager from Ozone to basically bring everything out into the stereo field, but the same on both sides. So that's it with it on. You hear that? Oh, H A ear. Sounds much better like that. <clears throat> so that is basically that whole sample. Drums. That's it. A couple of free drum kits here that I just sort of put together. Um, I sampled the snare drum from the song because I couldn't find it anywhere and it's a pretty cool snare so, you know, got to get it right. Then we have a super low sub bass I believe if you're not wearing headphones you definitely won't hear this or if you are I'm if you're not listening to headphones and it just sounds like a horrible crackle I'm very sorry but this is what it sounds like really low tons of saturation you can't see my, my camera's in the way but the saturation knob is up really high here a really intense beat the whole way through broken up by the vocals to sort of give it structure and then to finish it off with the second section the first sample just keeps playing that's pretty much it this is the original See, it's just the same. The mastering chain, oh yeah, I didn't really do anything here. I added some OTT. I'll turn everything off. Right now, with some OTT. Just 
just that little bit. Only like only 22%. Maybe that's even a bit too much. Uh, limiting. Don't be afraid to go too hard with the limiting here. This song, as you can see by the original waveform, is basically just one big fat sausage, which lets you know that it's been compressed and limited to all absolute heck. I could even do it more. Make it even louder. So now it really is just a big fat sausage. There we have it. Hot Razor by the Suicide Boys. Um, if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know what kind of songs you want to hear next. Um, we've still got some Suicide Boys to go through, so I'll probably finish those. Um, let me know. See ya.